You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. May 22nd, God's Manner of Forgiveness. 2 Samuel 12, verse 10. Now therefore the sword will never leave your house, because you despised me, and took the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be your own wife. What is required from God to forgive sin? Repentance. But even repentance does not ensure the removal of the consequences of sin. The consequences often remain as a reminder of the terrible, destructive nature of sin. David was forgiven for his grievous sins of lust, adultery, robbery, and murder. God forgave him absolutely and removed his sins from him completely. Psalm 103, verse 12. God did not, however, remove the pain that David would endure as a result of his transgressions. The child born of David's adultery died. 2 Samuel 12, verse 14. David's son Amnon raped David's daughter Tamar. 2 Samuel 13, verse 14. David's son Absalom murdered Amnon. 2 Samuel 13, verses 28 and 29. Absalom brought the kingdom into rebellion, 2 Samuel 15. For the rest of David's reign, violence filled his home and his kingdom. Although David knew he was forgiven, he bore the painful consequences of his sin for the rest of his life. It is presumptuous to assume that God removes every consequence the moment you repent of your sin. Do not think that the instant you show remorse, God will restore everything as it was. He may not. Some sins, such as adultery, come from a flawed character. God forgives sin immediately upon repentance, but it takes longer to build character. It is character, not forgiveness, that determines what God brings next to your life. Because we know the devastating consequences of our disobedience, let us diligently avoid every sin and run with endurance the race that lies before us. Hebrews 12, verses 1b. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby, published by B&H Publishing Group, music by Mark Brown.